Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again, and I would like to uh, start things off by introducing this for anybody who's new to this podcast. I'm born high-functioning autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm trying to be the creator of my own Leviathan universe, like how Stan Lee was. For this video, I'm going to read a story for a character known as Herikashix. And if you are, are able to uh, keep up with my readings, I hope it would be a decent storyline for you guys. Just bear with me, and I'll be reading it as well as I can. Herika Shix number one. Dafora meets Jacob. Created and copyrighted by Levi Corsi Ames, July 18, 2015. To begin the story, we travel to the eastern side of the western side of the state of New York where we find ourselves in a small suburban town locally known as Arkixton. We then start examining the Herikashix, or simply Commanderet Tafora Kaelthun, as she was trying to find an objective. She has bright blue eyes, light blonde hair and chin length, and is dressed in a black midriff top, top with a matching skirt and shoes. She is ten feet tall, possesses four muscular arms, and wields a pair of McQuetal sword clubs and a pair of handheld plasma ray guns. Her name is Herikashix. Her name, Herikashix, simply translates to Bloody Warrior. Her objective is to track down and annihilate Queen Gafelixak, the genocidal ruler of the Callisticans, known to be the assailant of the deceased mother of Gymoscorcus, the current queen of Gynarmica, who turned out to be one of her most cherished friends. While walking down the recently evacuated town, Tafora sensed that somebody is hiding nearby. She smashed through a house and got a hold on a male midget. He has green eyes, oranges blonde hair, and is dressed in mechanic clothes. Please, oh please don't kill me. I have done no harm for you. I'm not even a good fighter, just please don't kill me. He was begging to her. Who in Goddess's name are you? And aren't you too small to be human? Dafora asked him. My name is Jacob Felixton. I am born with a case of dwarfism, and I swear I have no clue on how to harm you. He then finally saw what she looks like. Wow. Are, are you a member of the Alpha Gods? No, she said in an unimpressed tone. I've never seen anything so gorgeous. Why did you come here? And she answered, Queen Gafelixak has wandered into this place like a complete limping wheelbarrow. I've come here to annihilate her as accurately as possible. I don't know about the wheelbarrow, but is it okay if I help you with that? Why in Tartarus would I get help from you? You just said that you aren't a good fighter. And he answered, no, but I am an uncanny mechanic. No matter how exotic the machine is, I will always repair it for no more than ten minutes maximum. And after a ten-second pause, she finally said, You shall join me, Jacob. After a few hours of searching, Tofor and Jacob started noticing something suspicious in their surroundings. Eventually, Tofor found that Gephelixex was trying to shoot Jacob. Jacob, watch it! and as soon as she pulled the trigger of one of her plasma ray guns, Jacob dodged it by jumping to an exaggerated height. Blasted dwarf, Queen Gafelixak said before she finally appeared. She has black-colored eyes, scruffy black hair, is dressed in a blue queen dress, possesses five tentacles for each arm, and is wielding a series of daggers and plasma ray guns. Keep your distance, Jacob. Let me show you how it's done. Tafor announced that she started fighting her opponent. Herikashix, how did you get here? Gafelixak asked. That doesn't matter in the slightest, Gafelixak. And after a few minutes of fighting, Tafor had finally beaded her to a gruesome pulp. As soon as she was done, she found that all of the damaged houses had been fully repaired. Jacob then walked into her sight, saying, I told you I'm an uncanny mechanic. Tafora then grabbed him and French kissed him as the residents of Arkishton finally returned from the evacuation. 
After that event, Tafor and Jacob has been an extreme item with one another, even to become nearly inseparable. And after a few months of dating, Tafora finally asked him to marry her, and he answered with a resounding yes. On the day of the wedding, Jacob ended up saying, Tafora? Not to offend you or anything, but I think that dress makes your flanks look enormous, and everyone gasped. She then replied, I can't believe I'm saying this, but thank you. And they finally got sealed by Goddess, who was the sealer for the wedding. And a while after that, Jacob went to the coast of Gynarmica and found his new spouse in her casual clothes and currently standing 175 feet tall. Tafora? Have I been shrunk somehow? Not really. It's the other way around, she answered as she grabbed him. How can you do that, he asked her. Goddess infused me with the power at the same time as Gymoscorcus. And she started walking down to Las Vegas for a romantic honeymoon together. The end. Sorry about any of the typos for the speech there. I just tried all that I can to keep it comprehensible. I hope you guys enjoyed the storyline. And if you want, it's your choice. You could be able to like, um, subscribe, and comment down below for any of these videos that you've seen so far. And I'll try all my can to figure out the next thing to do next from here from here on out, you know? I just don't want to leave you guys hanging. Hopefully you guys have a fine time and such. It's Leviathan. Enjoy your time and such. In transmission.